Hello everyone. Today we are going to see class 6 basic science first chapter. Caskets of life. So first of all, we'll see what do we mean by casket. Casket means a small ornamental box or a chest for holding jewels. So a box which is used to keep valuable objects. That is known as casket. Now we will see caskets of life. So going to the chapter. Minu was walking along the beautiful garden in front of her house. Humming a tune. At once something pricked her. It's so painful. She was surprised when she saw a little black insect on her hand. How tiny the creature is. So what happened? A little black insect pinched on Minu's hand and it was so painful. And she was surprised to see that insect. There are many kinds of plants and animals around us. They may differ in their shape, size, color and so on. So let's see some animals. have seen a variety of animals in that video. Are they all same? No, they differ in their shape, color and some are big, some are small, etc. Now here in the textbook name of some organisms are given. Try to write down the organisms in the order of their size. First one is written there ant. Now from the remaining that is god elephant camel horse so fill the triangular box according to their size now let me ask you one question which is the smallest creature you have seen are there organisms smaller than ant won't there be even smaller organisms in water and air too how can we see minute organisms? So we should find out answers for all these questions. Now we know that smaller organisms are present in water and air also. But we cannot see those organisms by naked eye or any hand lens. So how can we see them? For seeing them, there is a device known as micro. Scope. So micro means very small. So microorganisms that cannot be seen by the naked eye can be observed through the microscope. Now here is an experiment to see microorganisms and the materials required are microscope, slide, cover glass and hay soaked water. Now what is hay soaked water? Hay is dried grass. 
now how how can we collect hay soaked water now here it is given in the box you can collect from harvested fields or you can collect water from canals ponds which have started drying up or another method is you can take handful of hay and cut into pieces and boil it in water drain the water and cool it mix this water with a spoonful of collected water from a stagnated water bed observe it after 3 days so these are some methods to collect hay soaked water now after collecting the hay soaked water what we should do take a drop of hay soaked water on a slide place the cover glass and then observe it through the microscope now let me show you what is a slide and a cover glass now in the picture the first one is slide on which we'll keep the drop of hay soaked water and the second picture is cover glass and after keeping the drop we'll cover it with the cover glass and see through the microscope now after keeping the slide under the microscope what did you see now don't you see any tiny organisms moving in it if s yes, try to draw the picture of them now could you observe any of the organisms given below now names of some organisms are given below amoeba paramecium and euglena so these are some microorganisms which we can see through microscope so organisms that cannot be seen by the naked eye are called microorganisms now let me show the microscopic view of these organisms now here is the microscopic view of amoeba we can see it's moving now next one is paramecium this is also moving here and there now next one is euglena so these are some of the microorganisms which we can see only through microscope okay so hope you understood this video now try to find out answers for these questions thanks for watching